Welcome to Watch Chat, where we chat about watches and other facts of life. This here is another octagon shaped brand, and there is a reason why it is. This here is one of the Gorilla Fastback GT collection, known as the Spectro. The Spectro draw lineage from the original Fastback design, as seen here, that was launched in 2016, which has since been sold out. If you're wondering who Gorilla is, it's these two guys here, Octavio Garcia and Lucas Scope, both former designers of Odima Piquets. Which brings us to the design cue of this watch. This also has the octagon shape. Well, it's actually an octagon on top of a dodecagon. You'll see what I mean later. What is very interesting about this design is the material used and how they carve the shape. The bottom case here is a woven forged carbon case and the top there is a matte black ceramic bezel. Sandwiched in between them is a sinister red anodized aluminum pin strip. All held together by these four screws that can be unscrewed, not using a screwdriver, but an Allen key. If you look very carefully, the case, the pin strip, and the bezel are all cut out and crafted to the precise calculated angle. If you look from the side, this here has a straight ish surface. It does have a slight curve in the middle. Moving towards the 7 and 8 o'clock position, that's where it gets interesting. You can see the line where it curves on all three layers. On the case, there's another line all the way out here that slides down creating an angle which you usually see from the side of a lug. Further out again, you see a third line. On the pin strip, you also see a second line that's between the first and the third line that slides horizontally. And then on the bezel, you see parallel lines like the pin strip. What is interesting here is that the octagon shape on the bezel isn't created by these lines here, but by the cut on the surface of the bezel here. Each of these lines creates an angle. That is why when viewing the watch from the top, there is an octagon shaped design. But when one seriously look at the side of the watch and count the sides it has, it's an octagon sitting on top of a dodecagon. 8 over 12 sides. When you run your fingers around the watch, you will notice there is a synergy or a cooperation between the three layers, i.e. the case, the pin strip and the bezel. Each cornering on the cuts and curves are not uneven or asymmetrical, but smooth. The case here is 44mm in diameter, 48.5mm including the crown guards, 13.8mm thick and 57.8mm long. The strap also has the same design lines flowing from the case or lugs. The strap here is a hybrid between rubber and cordura with red stitching. The back of the strap has lines like the belly of a snake to help breathability. There are two rubber holders here, one with the brand name and one without. The buckle is a titanium pin buckle with a diamond design on the front and the Gorilla brand name underneath. This has an open titanium case back that is screwed on by four of these screws. Underneath this sapphire crystal is the trusty Miyota 90S5 caliber, automatic and hand winding, 24 joules, 4 hertz, 28,800 VPH, which has an accuracy of minus 10 to plus 30 seconds per day, hacking seconds function, and 42 hours of power reserves. The crown is a screw down titanium crown, providing it a 100 meter of water resistance. The design of the crown is unusual. Apart from the normal round edge design, there are three additional extensions on the crown to help with easy gripping. 
The engraving on the crown is an irregular hexagon. Because the crown is pretty big, the crown guards are also huge. The flat sapphire crystal is placed on a raised pedestal from the bezel. The crystal has AR coating. The Rehawk Gorilla calls it a red anodized aluminum flange. It's pretty deep. So deep that the brand name can be printed on together with the minute track, which is a smart way to clear up the dial. The Rehawk has a slanted angle hence making the name and the minute track visible when looking at the watch directly. The overall of the dial is black with applied rhodium plates numerals displayed in 5 minutes intervals like a speedometer of a car. As you can see, not only does this watch has an open heart at the 530 position, it also has a skeletonized hour disc in the center design like a bullseye. This part of the disc is grey and the rest is black. Just between the disc and the minute markers, save for the 5 and 6 o'clock, chunks of black superluminova are applied, which I think they could have done a better job. The entire hour hand has a glossy black frame with red superluminova. The red glossy minute hand is also skeletonized with black loom. The second hand is black with a red tip that extends beyond the dial all the way to the slanting rehaul. The golden balance wheel at the open heart complements the black and red perfectly. This watch is well designed and well built. It is a fun watch. A pretty comfortable, rugged and fun watch to wear. It's pretty light on the wrist too. Notwithstanding that, I have three problems with this watch. First is the legibility of the rhodium indexes. Because of how dark they are and the height of the rehaul, it makes it pretty dark and difficult to read the time until you tilt the watch at the right angle. The second problem is the red and black loom. They aren't very effective to be honest. When fully charged, this is how it looks. But when used under normal condition, they rarely get charged, and they look like this. Thirdly, it's a skeletonized design. I mean, although this has an open heart and a skeletonized design, I can hardly see anything. Unless, of course, it was intended to be that way. Be that as it may, I must give credit to the designer of this brand. The design, material use and build quality is beyond its price tag. What do you think of this watch or this brand? Do you think it gives you that Audima PK kind of design cue? Or what other alternatives would you consider at this price point? Let us know at the comments below. Anyway, if you like this kind of video, please like, share, comment, subscribe and hit that notification icon and I'll really appreciate it and promise to upload more videos like this. Until the next one. Thank you for watching.